Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we are going to review my plate carrier. So about once a year, I kind of want to do a check-in with you guys to just say this is kind of what I'm currently running on my plate carrier. Uh, if you're anything like me, things change all the time. Uh, you know, some things rotate in, some things will rotate out, you try some stuff, whatever. But I don't want to bore you guys with any time I make any micro adjustment or update to my plate carrier. No one needs to see that. Uh, so I think a once a year check-in is sufficient to just say this is what I'm currently running, this is how I'm currently trying or experimenting with, and hopefully it'll give you some ideas. If you don't like my plate carrier setup, that's fine. You can set your plate carrier up however you damn well please. Uh, so. Currently, this plate carrier is the AR500 armor plate carrier. I believe this is the Tostito carrier. Uh, and then I have level four ceramic plates in the actual carrier itself. I believe those are battle steel plates, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, up front, this is a Velocity Systems uh, placard. So, if you don't know how swift clips and placards work, that's uh, how that is. It, it just clips on up here, and Velcro, it just clips on up top and then Velcro's down. Uh, big fan of that system. Carries four up front, and then you have just these two little kind of GP pouches. Currently I have a little clip bar in there, and I don't think I have anything in this main one either. So, just kind of three GP pouches up front. On this side, this is just my IFAC, you know, all the basic IFAC stuff. Bandage, hyphen, chest seals, scissors, gloves, whatever. Uh, I do keep a tourniquet here in this little convenient TQ pouch. I don't know if I like this. This is just a cheaper thing I got off Amazon. I might get rid of that. I was running the tourniquet in this pouch and I might just go back to doing that um, to just kind of save the weight and distraction. I just don't know if I like this red. It's kind of garish. But, you know, whatever. We're still figuring that out. I did get this cool little dangle pouch, and currently I have nothing in here. I haven't really found a use for this yet. I'm really just experimenting to see if I like it or want it. Um, but this currently just sits pretty empty, and again, that's an experimentation thing to see if I like it or need it or whatever. Uh, over here, I have a nice knife because, hey, you need one of those. This is a cold steel, I believe it's the S, yes, it's the SRK uh, cold steel knife. So. And that's currently the knife that I have on my plate carrier. On the back, I have this backpacky thing. This was some $40 add-on I got off Amazon, actually. Um, some cheap, not made in America piece of nylon. And it's actually really good for what it is. Um, if you were to buy a different one, I'm sure you could get them for like two, three hundred dollars and I'm sure they'd be very nice, but for 40 bucks or whatever, this serves a great purpose. So in here right now, I just have some extra like socks and underwear, uh, a gun cleaning kit, uh, right in the rain pad, batteries, uh, right in the rain pen, and a Sharpie. That's kind of all I have in there right now. That's just a kind of sustainment kit, so that if I had to grab this thing and go, um, I would have some stuff that I would need in order to carry on. Uh, on this outside here, I just have two more cliff bars, and that's it. That's all I got on the outside one. This does have a water bladder. It's a three liter water bladder. I think it's about two thirds ish full right now, so about two liters of water. I, one thing I'm not so sure about right now with this is I don't like how it distributes the weight. Uh, when you wear a pack, it distributes the weight better, but when you uh, attach it directly to your carrier, it, it kind of shifts the carrier. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that or not. One other thing here, so I do have this uh, pouch up here and all I keep in here is a blue Sharpie uh, just to have a spot for quick access to a marker. You may notice uh, that I do not have any pistol mags or anything like that on my plate carrier. Some guys choose to do that. I've moved away from that. Uh, my current theory is that the plate carrier is designed to support the rifle. So I carry four rifle mags and that's, that's kind of how I set up my plate carrier. And then of course, obviously it, it needs to stop bullets and uh, it needs to carry some kind of medical because you got to have that on you one way or another. So that's kind of my current philosophy for a plate carrier. And, and as you've seen, I've just integrated the backpack directly into the plate carrier rather than carrying a separate pack. 
I'm not sure how I do or don't feel about this yet, to be honest. I haven't given it enough uh, wear time or experimentation time. One thing in general that I've started to move to with my color schemes is I've moved more to a green. I've tried to, most of my most recent pouches are gonna be green. I try to keep things uh, in that color shade-ish, that or Coyote Brown, and I'm moving away from multicam on my plate carrier proper. Uh, my reasoning behind that is that if I'm out and about in an, a rural area, chances are I won't be wearing plates uh, just because that's a lot of weight to be carrying. Whereas plates are probably used in more of an urbanized environment. So I've just kind of gone, gone with the subdued green rather than a full camo. Uh, one, the multicam pouches always cost more, right? Uh, and two, I just don't think there's a need for multicam pouches on your plate carrier or a multicam plate carrier. Again, that's just the philosophy of use that I'm currently running with. That's it, that's my current plate carrier setup. Uh, if you like it and appreciate it, great, thank you. If you don't like it, uh, again, set up your gear however you damn well please. Do brave deeds and endure.